I want to take us back a bit into history for, yeah. for a purpose. Uh, yeah. When we look back at 2013, you recall, you were a member of the PDP then. Yes. The national chairman was Dr. Bamango Tuko. Yes. And his uh, central kind of objective, and he made it publicly known, was to get President Goodluck Jonathan, former President Goodluck Jonathan, re-elected mm -hmm. in 2015. Now, we know that his, he, he employed some pretty strong arm tactics to make sure that everybody was in line and we then saw a defection of several officials, governors, etc. New PDP was formed and the rest is history, then on to APC. Now I bring that up because in 2018 now we're seeing a, a serious uh, schism developing in the leadership of your party where you have a national chairman who's clearly uh, aligned with the re-election prospects of the president and a group of governors that are saying, no, we're not going to take that. We want a free and open process with an unbiased NWC. Are you not concerned that if the status quo holds, that some governors and key officials, even within the National Assembly, will embark on a mass defection to another party and shift the balance of power in the country? No, it doesn't arise. If you see what is happening now in the, in the, in the, in the issue of SDP, it is the PDP that is that's broken into two, the, rem the remnant of PDP that is broken into two. It, is not, it does not compare with what happened in 2013. Now, the governors, almost 20, 22 governors, are very, very determined to see that the party sticks together and is moving forward. Now, the issue you are afraid of, I can assure you, will not happen. Because in politics, you are, when you are stable where you are, you do not leave the known to the unknown. So it, I, I, I can't understand, and I want you to not happen where you will see uh, an APC governor go to uh, uh, SDP. Let me tell you, that won't happen. And let me tell you, Bola Tunubu too is a genius in politics. And he has, he's a father. And he will not d destroy a house that he has built. Even if, even, believes, if, even if he believes he's been completely shortchanged and No, he, will, he can never be completely shortchanged. For the president to elevate and call him, given that responsibility to, to man and manage the party, that shows the respect that the president and the party has for him. And he's doing extremely well in this event. And he's continuing in the management of this process. So you, you don't see a situation, I mean, it was just yesterday or so we saw uh, a statement of Senator Sheikh Hussani saying that if Governor El Rufai is prepared for peace, then we are ready for peace. But if he's prepared for war, then we are also prepared for war. I mean, <laughs> we, and that is coming on the back of the visit of the Sheikh Mouni Committee to try and reconcile factions yeah. in uh, Kaduna. Yeah. Yeah. You don't see a situation whereby people will eventually leave dissatisfied and say, no, we can't take the APC, and because we don't want the PDP, we're going to the SDP. You don't see that kind of defection to the SDP. No, no, no. no. You have just said was. Sani said, he said, if Erufai is prepared for peace, then there will be peace. And Erufai is ready for peace. And in fact, that is a Democrat speaking. But do you so, believe that a demolition exercise is the pathway to peace? Uh, well, I don't know the situation. I don't know the, the issues that led to demolition, you know. Uh, but I, I, can't, I don't have anything to say about that. But what I want to say is that if after the demolition, Sheikh Usani is still saying that he's prepared for peace, and of course, Erufai is a sitting governor. He needs peace to be able to come back. So I'm sure that Erufai will embrace peace. There are people who say that the rancors within the APC, I mean, the different uh, groups, the different uh, chapters of the APC, have been left on for too long, and that they should have been nipped in the bud. Right now, they have grown into trees, and that is going to take <laughs> a real effort to try and cut them down. Uh, do you really see your party making progress in reconciling factions, even in the state where you're from? I mean, yeah. it doesn't seem that the APC is together right now. There are rumblings and mumblings within the APC in Delta State as a result of, you know, some of you coming in from the PDP. Those who are there feel that you're trying to come and lord it over them. Uh, no, that is not the issue in the APC in uh, Delta State. You see, the, the issue in Delta is very clear. The, 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 the government, the PDP government has performed very poorly. And uh, of course, uh, there is a consensus, there's a movement in Delta State that the government must change and must go. And so, in the APC, it's a, which is a very big family now. And then a lot of people are interested in running for the office of governor in that state. And then when you have seven, six, ten persons who are interested, these are very serious politicians, including myself. When you have such persons, uh, 
warming up to run, then you see that the party becomes stronger because each person has his own uh, uh, campaign team, his own followers. And then immediately after the, com the, the primaries for the Guba, everybody will come back and then support whoever wins. And that is what is growing the party in APC, in Delta. The other day, there were a lot of pressure groups, but the, the Delta State Chairman insisted that these pressure groups must be dissolved. So you don't so see a situation, sorry to interrupt you, you yeah. don't see a situation whereby disagreed, uh, beg your pardon, aggrieved members of the, P, of the APC in the country would defect to the PDP, I'm sorry, to the SDP? No, 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 that won't happen, because let me explain it again. One, this is the first term of the APC. And being in government for the first time after 16 years, you expect that there will be a lot of mistakes within the party. And these mistakes are being addressed now. And people are patient. It's a good four thing. years, yes, four years is nothing. Mm. So after these four years, the next, uh, the, the, the APC will win again, put this house in order, and then it will become a very viable party and a very viable platform for the development of this country mm. because of the man who is on that seat. We'll see how that goes. I mean, it's what you have said. Um, we'll definitely cut the struck out and, you know, see how that prediction comes to pass. Yeah. But we have to thank you most kindly for coming on Sunrise Daily. Thank you. Dr. Nkairo Jugo is a member of the All Progressives Congress. It's back you. to you, Chamberlain.